<laughs> hey folks, Mike here for day 99. Uh, much better day than it was uh, yesterday, that's for sure. Much better day than it, than it has been. Um, so, uh, I didn't get to my comic work until much later in the night. Um, but I sat down to do a thing and I did that thing. I started working on that concept illustration that I was working on uh, about a week ago or so with uh, one of the Red Scarf Syndicate and the Fuzz in the city background. I started detailing the city background. I just needed to do something that, that I could enjoy and just do for the sake of doing that really wasn't of any consequence to the story um, for now. Um, just not feeling so hot. Uh, it happens. Um, I don't want to get into like a whole big thing, especially not like towards the end, but uh, I've, I've had depression my whole life. It's nothing new. Uh, this isn't... I don't know. I don't know even. I don't even know why I feel the need to explain myself. Um, but it sucks, and and it's the biggest thing that I was hoping that I could figure out a way to overcome and and, and find a find a way to manage better through this. And um, it's interesting because I I feel like when you're looking for things, sometimes you find them, um, and that goes both ways for negative and positive. And this whole year has been dedicated to making positive changes. Um, I just had a bit of a scare at the early beginning of the year um, that was totally unexpected, come, coming from a place that you wouldn't expect. And um, it started changing my perspective that I really need to get my stuff together and do the things that really make me happy instead of everything that doesn't. And um, along with that comes the, the reality that in order to accomplish uh, these things, I need to learn to manage this other thing, which is depression. Um, general depression. I was diagnosed when I was really young. I'm talking middle school young. And I used to go and see a therapist, and they wanted to put me on different medications and stuff. But I was smart enough to do research at the time and found that, you know, even, to, even up to today, there is no scientific certainty about how to deal with it. And it's very, 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 very few cases where um, medication will actually uh, help somebody on a physical level. And so it just seemed like something that wasn't for me. Um, I wanted to figure out ways to manage it behaviorally, you know, to, to find proactive things that I could do in my life to, to you know, lose it and be okay. And I, feel like for a long time it was, but you know, it happens sometimes. Uh, it just happens sometimes. I, I, I guess I'm, I kind of regret that it had to happen, you know, during this, because this is supposed to be a big positive thing. Um, and and, it, and that the funny thing is that, you know, depression itself, it isn't sadness, it isn't, but it, it comes with like a lack of motivation, it comes with this pessimistic sort of attitude. It's different for everybody. Uh, for me, these are the sort of things that, that come with it. And so you've got your natural, you know, normal human being um, fears and anxieties about, especially being an artist, or already <laughs> overly sensitive about stuff, hypersensitive. Um, and, and that much, I can honestly say with certainty that the, the hundreds has helped me with. Um, and so I want to I want to be a hundred percent clear. So I'm not I'm not downgrading the the normal kind of anxiety that comes with you know being an artist, doing art, or just being a person and having anxiety. I'm not downgrading that. That's severe enough. Um, I'm, what I'm getting at is that what I'm going through now is not a backslide or a relapse on the lessons that I have learned from this. This is its own beast that I have a long way to go to to learn to live with and, and to still be productive with. Um, but uh, a lot of what I've learned through these last 99 days now, uh, which it's absolutely been 100. I, I went back and I checked that video. I'm on like 104 or something right now. But I'm, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it because I'm a man of integrity. <laughs> so I wasn't able to keep up. I'm going to keep up. Um, so, uh, right, uh, my point being that uh, it's it's those lessons that are helping me. Uh, surprisingly, it, it is. It's helping me even on even with that. Um, and so I've had a couple days, uh, really bad days, uh, 
today I, I almost had another bad day and I just I sat down and I said just do a thing just pick a piece and do that piece because really at the end of the day yeah okay it's concept art so all right I'm working on concept art it's going towards the comic it's it's at the very least engaging my mind in the project it's it's allowing me to be connected rather than um, rather than allowing that feeling of wanting to disconnect to win and to take hold and to you know pull away um, instead I, I chose to do the, the bit of concept art and engage rather than disengage and that is huge that is something that I have not been able to do in a very long time um, and I'm very happy about that that looks good uh, it looks like good news for the future I'm hoping that that increases tomorrow that perhaps I get a little bit more time uh, in like I like I really wanted this weekend um, but you know I'm not gonna get angry at myself and beat myself up about it that just adds more coals to the fire more anxiety makes it harder to calm back down and just do what it is that I gotta do so today was uh, <laughs> oddly enough another really sleepy day I just can't seem to catch up on sleep um, the laws of randomosity are not in my favor. I forgot I had another uh, call that I needed to take at 10 a.m. with the client. I was up all night. Uh, as you saw in my video, I was up until 3.30 uh, a.m., I believe, was when I first started making that video. And then I didn't actually get to sleep until maybe 6 a.m. So, uh, and, and, and that was like barely asleep. I wasn't quite sleeping yet. I think total, maybe at best I got four hours of sleep. Um, and I've already got massive sleep debt built up from this whole week. So, um, uh, I'm calling it a night. I wanted to do more than a half hour right now. I, I felt like engaged. I, I just bought uh, Jason Brubaker's um, audiobook, uh, Unnatural Talent. I'd listened to the uh, uh, beginning that he's got for free on uh, online, um, but I actually just missed when he uh, finished the the campaign uh, when it when he finished it because when he first came out with that he was putting the whole thing online for free, and then once he figured out once he finished it and figured out how much it was going to cost, then it wasn't going to be free anymore, and that's I started reading it right when he was about to be finished. <laughs> so I finally bought it. I went ahead and bought the audiobook because I, I dug what he had to say. I dug his message. Because it was really helpful. And, um, and I'm hoping that something like that, that's, that's positive, that's proactive, that's, you know, somebody who's going through the whole, you know, the whole rigmarole <laughs> from, you know, the concept to creation to the publishing and all that kind of stuff. And to have that sort of account of the whole process laid out. I'm very interested to, to hear what he's got to say and, uh, and hopefully there's something in there that I can apply to to help me and uh, already it really has. I mean I, I feel stubborn sometimes like I need to hear the same bit of advice again and again and again which is probably why I listen to some of the, the stuff that I listen to again and again and again um, to kind of keep reminding myself because you know it better better to do that than to do nothing at all and just let you know the depression take hold and just knock my my whole psyche out of whack um, so you know I have these kind of mantras and stuff and what he was saying um, really hit home at the right time I guess while I was uh, working on the drawing tonight and he had said in, in other words that um, there's going to be several times throughout the project that you're even going to start hating the project and that you're going to want to give up and just quit altogether. And, you know, depression or not, the fact that that's just a reality of the process is something that I think I've failed to acknowledge. And so I feel like sometimes, definitely not now, definitely not these last couple of days, I can say that with certainty, but sometimes... I assume that it's my depression that is taking hold again and causing me to want to quit and all that and failing to recognize other areas that maybe I could use a little bit more work on. Um, 
and it's just so rough, honestly. It's so rough to even admit that. Um, it's just so rough to admit that. I, I've always been Johnny on the spot, Captain Million Things at Once, without batting an eye, and yeah, I don't want to go down that 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 path and start thinking about that. But I I, I, I need to get over. The, I, did, the, I need to get over the notion that I don't understand what has happened to me, that I'm not that person anymore. It's very troubling to me, and it's not a delusion thing because I can ask anybody in my life that's known me through those points, and they can all agree. So, um, I don't know. Life is a weird thing. Uh, so, I think, you know, uh, the biggest lesson that I have learned from myself um, that I need to start applying uh, immediately is that you don't know how long you've got on this world. You don't know if the, the skills you've honed are going to just suddenly disappear. Uh, you don't know if your, your attitude is going to change dramatically or if something's going to happen um, that just completely, fundamentally changes the way that you process the world around you. And uh, if you ever get to that point, it's better to have accomplished some things you set out to accomplish than none. <laughs> so, um, I think I'm taking that new attitude to heart and uh, taking the time off uh, after, after having completed these hundred days uh, to really meditate on that and think about what that means to me and what I'm going to do to move forward. Um, I don't have the answer yet, uh, but that is a priority, um, post-haste. <laughs> um, yeah, sorry these videos have been like this, uh, towards the end. I just, I don't know, I don't have the energy to invest in the video. <laughs> it's nothing to do with any of you. I, I've enjoyed myself. It's just, a. Uh, it just is what it is. Um, writing it out, uh, analyzing it every step of the way to try to figure out what it is that's going on and how to uh, like Muay Thai use its momentum against it <laughs> oh you want to trip me up and get all negative and make me stop making space cat oh, oh now you're on your face what space cat <laughs> in like a mental way mental jujitsu anyways I'm gonna go before I make any further fool of myself this has been another lackluster day, day 99, almost done tomorrow. I hope to make the video that I've wanted to make for the 100 days. If I don't, then I may put it off and do like a day 101 <laughs> at some point. I don't know. Uh, we'll see what happens. Either way, this has been a great experience so far, and I hope tomorrow is a good end cap to that experience. So I'm really tired. I'm going to go try and catch up on sleep once more, so hopefully I'll actually be a well-rested person tomorrow, and yes, that would be good. Um, Alright, that's it. Uh,